Yesterday was one of a lot of people's favorite holiday of the year. It was Valentine's Day. So you know, most of the time for Valentine's Day, the people that get excited about Valentine's Day are the people that are in love. People who are uh, usually dating, people that are dating or married couples. Um, they just get so excited about this holiday. And in my opinion, it, it's a great holiday because finally there's a holiday for the girls because all other holidays are for guys. We get to eat food, light off fireworks, um, you know, and watch sports and stuff like that. So all other holidays are for guys. And finally there's a holiday uh, for girls, that and then Mother's Day, but that's just for mothers. So uh, Valentine's Day is kind of a girly holiday and girls just get, they get so lost in this, but guys do. And they get so excited about it and they want to, um, spend time how many of you got uh one of these uh yesterday uh, a box of chocolates man look at that oh oh i lost one i wasted it on the floor right so a box of chocolates or maybe flowers or something like somebody did something really sweet for you or did something like that and you know what Today, I don't want to talk too much about that, although guys, you should have done better, and girls, you shouldn't have expected so much out of guys. Valentine's is a great time to care about one another, but today, what I really want to talk to is I want to talk to all the people that hated Valentine's Day yesterday, those that were like, I didn't get a box of chocolates. Nobody took me out on a date. What is this garbage? It's, like, it's almost like it's a holiday just to make me feel bad or point out the fact that I'm single and alone and that there was no one to go out with. You know, it reminds me of a story uh, years ago. Um, I've been married for eight years now. I was single into my 30s, so I know all about being a single adult. Um, and, uh, but when I was, uh, I don't know, I was around 30, 31 maybe, and I went into Bugaboo Creek, my favorite place to eat. Uh, and I went into the restaurant, it was a Friday night, and I went in on a Friday night prime time, and I walked up, and they said, how many? And I said, one. And the lady looked at me, and she looked at me with this sad look, and she said, oh, that's so sad. And I'm like, uh, not really. I'm about to eat myself a sirloin steak, medium rare, with a mashed potatoes or a baked potato, whatever. I'm not too sad about this. I'm pretty happy. Uh, but, man, she's like, oh, that's so sad. And so, so often we get into this sad place where if no one buys us a box of chocolates or nobody gives us flowers or nobody invites us to go somewhere with them and we have to go somewhere alone we get worked up about it and we think it's a terrible thing but but i just want to 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 encourage you um for a minute today and, and share a couple of passages because you know what we we go back to and we don't play this game remember the little uh, game that we used to play when we were in school where where if we wanted to know if somebody cared about us we'd pass around notes that say do you love me check one yes no or maybe we don't do that but we kind of walk around feeling sorry for ourselves that nobody loves me well check out this verse that is in jeremiah jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3 this is what the lord said he said i have loved you with an everlasting love i have drawn you with loving kindness god has loved us with an ever lasting love he drew us to himself with his loving kindness now if you're hoping to fall in love or find love that will last a lifetime and then you will find satisfaction then your life will be sufficient or significant then you'll feel complete you're you're you got things kind of out of order. Uh, the ultimate love is finding out that there is someone who has loved us in an everlasting way. No person will ever love you in an everlasting uh, way. And no one person will ever love you in the way that God has loved you. Uh, if you want to know what great love is, it starts out with Christ. And this is what God wants you to know that he loved you with an everlasting love so if you want to have a love that'll last forever don't look for that love in a person don't look for your significance in a person look for that love to be found in your creator and in god and then what happens is when we find that sort of a love in god then we're able to uh we're able to love each other and and first john chapter 4 verse 19 says this it says we love 
because he first loved us. We love because he first loved us. If we're going to ever be able to love in any sort of a significant way, if we're going to be able to let somebody love us or show some love, we have to love first because he loved us. We find our satisfaction, our significance, our understanding of love in the fact that we know we were created to be loved. We were then redeemed from our sin that separated us from God. And um, now, because of that, we're able to show love to some that are unlovable and to some that we're kind of forced to love because they're in our family or we work with them or something like that. And then those that we choose to love to somebody that you choose to uh, spend the rest of your life with, maybe a a husband or wife. And so I want to encourage you today that don't let your idea of love be some fairy tale uh, that you're waiting for Cupid to shoot you with a bow and an arrow. And if if he didn't, you didn't get to experience Valentine's Day. Let me tell you, there's a real genuine love that God's loved you with an everlasting love. And if you want to find significance, if you want to find contentment in your heart, it's not going to be in another person who catches you with some romance or some passion or something like that. It's going to be understanding that God created you, that he loves you, and that he loves you the, the way you are, but he wants to, to fill your heart uh, with his spirit and teach you how to live a life of love and love others. So um, if you were disappointed with Valentine's Day yesterday, uh, I want to challenge you to experience a great Valentine's Day today because God has loved you with an everlasting love. God bless you and keep growing.